गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल अगेन फॉर द केमिस्ट्री क्लास स्टूडेंट्स एज वी ऑल नो दैट लॉकडाउन इज एक्सटेंडेड टिल सेवेंटीन ऑफ मे सो आई सजेस्ट यू ऑल टू स्टे सेफ एंड स्टे काम बी एट योर होम डोंट गो आउट ऑफ योर होम एंड ट्राई टू कीप योर बॉडी एंड माइंड हेल्दी बाय डूइंग रेगुलर एक्सरसाइजेस एज वेल एज बाय यूजिंग योर टाइम इन डूइंग सेल्फ स्टडी so let us continue again with the question and answers and today we will be doing the questions from exercise of ncert book chapter number 1 so let us start with the first question the first question is to convert the temperatures to the celsius scale and uh, since we have already done these kinds of question i'll just tell you that we just have to use the formula that is c plus 273 is equals to kelvin put the value of k Uh, put the value of k as two ninety three in the first time uh, in the first option and four seventy in the second time and then find out the value of c from the um, relation from the formula which I told you and uh, since we have done these kinds of question in our earlier classes also so I am not doing it this time students and similarly we can do the second question also that is to convert the temperatures to the Kelvin scale. and here we have to convert 25 degree celsius as well as 373 degree celsius to kelvin scale now uh, in this question what we have to do in place uh, like in the earlier question that is first question we we have put the value uh, in place of k since the temperature was given in kelvin now here what we will do we will use the same formula that is c plus 273 is equals to k But we will put the value given here in the form the value of the temperature given here as twenty five degree Celsius in the place of C, and uh, we will calculate the value of K. Now let us see the third question that is give reason for the following. Naphthalene balls disappear with time without leaving any solid. Now here we can say students that naphthalene has a tendency to sublime. that means it is a sub, it undergoes the process of sublimation and it changes directly from solid to gaseous state without getting converted into liquid state therefore the size of the naphthalene balls slowly decreases and ultimately it disappears without leaving any solid residue behind now the next one is we can get the smell of perfume sitting several meters away now here we can say students that perfume is actually the mixture of number of pleasant smelling vapors and uh, as we all know that rate of diffusion is maximum in gaseous state so we say that it uh, diffuses quite fast and reaches a person who may be even several meters away from the person who has applied perfume now question number 4 is to arrange the following substances in increasing order of force of attraction between the particles that is water sugar and oxygen now here students as we all know that these three substances differ in its physical state at normal room temperature that is here water is liquid in its liquid state sugar is in crystalline or we can say solid state and oxygen is it in the gaseous state so we can uh, say that keeping this in mind we since we know that the force of attraction in solid is maximum it's moderate in liquid and it's minimum in Uh, the gaseous state so we can say that here also oxygen being in a gaseous state is having the least force of attraction between the particles then it will be water which is in liquid state having moderate in between you can say oxygen and sugar sugar and sugar that is in its solid state is having the maximum force of attraction between the particles now let us see question number 5 students what is the physical state of water at 25 degree celsius 0 degree celsius and at 100 degree celsius now when we consider this question we have already done such a kind of question in our previous class also consider the first temperature that is 25 degree celsius now when we talk about 25 degree celsius it is between 0 degree and 100 degree celsius and we know that at 0 degree celsius water start that means water in the form of ice starts melting and gets converted into water and uh, at 100 degree celsius water uh, vaporizes and gets converted into water vapor so in between uh, the temperature 0 and 100 uh, the water in is in its liquid state then we talk about 0 degree celsius 
since we have discussed it in earlier also uh, section also that at boiling point and at melting point uh, we can say that uh, it is in the state of equilibrium that is we can say that at 0 degree celsius it is in state of solid as well as in liquid state and at 100 degree celsius we can say that it uh, the water is in its state of uh, you can say liquid as well as gaseous state now the next question students is give two reasons to justify that water at room temperature is a liquid now here we just have to justify it by giving uh, reasons that why water is considered to be a liquid at room temperature so if it satisfies the properties or the characteristics of the liquid at room temperature definitely it will be considered as uh, liquid so we can say that since water can flow from a higher level to lower level uh, at uh, you can say um, uh, it also is having a fixed volume but no fixed shape it takes the shape of the container in which it is kept it is not uh, you can say uh, compressible also uh, not so compressible uh, and it is not hard as well as not rigid so we can consider it to be a liquid at room temperature out of all these reasons students you can write any of the two reasons to justify that water at room temperature is a liquid now let us come to the next one that is an iron almira is a solid at room temperature now when we talk about this we all know that an iron almira is having a fixed shape it is having a fixed volume and it does not change it. that means the shape and the size and you can say that it is hard and it is rigid it cannot flow you can say so keeping in mind all these reasons you can consider any of the two and thus write it down uh, that uh, write it down just to justify that an iron almira is solid uh, at room temperature now the next question is that ice at 273 kelvin causes more cooling than water at the same temperature now we have to explain it now since i can say that ice which is in its solid state is having some extra energy in the form of latent heat of fusion as we compare it to the water when we compare it to the water we can say that it is having some extra energy which is in it it's uh, late in the form of its latent heat of fusion now when ice starts melting it takes the energy from the surrounding to overcome this latent heat and thus the temperature of the surroundings get lowered or you can say that cooling is caused now since water is already in its liquid state it will hardly take up any energy from the surrounding so uh, we can just we can say that ice at 273 kelvin causes more cooling than water at the same temperature now the next question is why does steam produces more severe burns on the skin as compared to boiling water now we can say here that steam is formed when water at its boiling point uh, that means at the temperature of 100 degree celsius when it absorbs some latent heat or vaporization then only steam is formed now here therefore we can say that the steam is having more energy than we uh, than the boiling water so we can say that steam produces more severe burns because of having more energy than the boiling water now the next question is that you have just have to name a b c d e and f in the following diagram showing changes in its state now when we talk about this diagram we can see that a is uh, that means the method A which means here is when solid is getting converted into liquid state. So here we can say that A can be either fusion or it can be melting. When we talk about B it is conversion from liquid to gaseous state. So the method used can be vaporization. When we talk about C that is from conversion from gaseous state to liquid state it is the method of condensation and d when we talk about it is from liquid to solid state that is definitely solidification and when we talk about method e it is directly conversion of solid to gaseous state without getting converted into liquid state so definitely we know that it is sublimation and similarly we can say that gases also get uh, is getting converted in uh, f option when you see it the gases are getting converted into solid state without getting conversion into the liquid state so we can say that f can be either sublimation or desublimation so here we come to the end of the exercise question students so that's all for today hope you will enjoy your day and have a nice week students